Today we're gonna talk about painting. Oh, it's so messy. So, I have this theory that we don't have to have paint in order to paint. So we're gonna try that out today. Now, if you know me at all, then you know that my favorite place to shop is the Dollar Tree. So I've got some super cool stuff from there today. First, I've got this two pack of Crayola paintbrushes. And then I got this super awesome paint tray. It actually was like a six pack for me to put some of my unique paints in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my paint brushes. And let's talk about what I'm using for paints today, okay? Let's get it zoomed out a little bit here. Okay, this is paprika. Paprika is a smoky, warm spice that you can use lots of different ways, but as you can see, it has a beautiful orange color. This is something that a lot of you probably see at home. It is coffee. This is one of my favorite spices. It's turmeric, and you can see it's a beautiful yellow color. And this is my palette of not liquid paints. So we've got two different colors of toothpaste here, and we've got some wonderful blueberry jelly. So lots of different things to work with. So there's some tips I wanna give you as you start painting. Number one, if you're gonna use a spice, when you get your paint, you just wanna dab at the top. See how nice that paints? But if I get down in there, it's gonna get a lot of the paint, the spice granules, and you don't really need those. Now remember, if you don't have your own paintbrush at home, that is okay, because it is just as good to use a Q-tip, or a cotton ball, or you can even go and find a pine tree and get some needles off the pine tree and use those. Wind some tape around them to make them a little bit closer together and you've got yourself a nice old natural paintbrush. So we've got some nice paprika going there. Okay, I'm gonna transition or change colors into some turmeric and again, See, I'm tilting it a little bit. I don't have to, I can just dip it. At, well, first let's wave it off there. I'm gonna tip it so I just get the color. And I'm gonna paint it down. All right. So we've got some turmeric on there. All right, so now let's try the coffee. Do you know what makes a really good paint is grape juice. Grape juice makes a terrific paint. So does coffee. The great thing about coffee is that you can add layers to it, which means that after I paint this layer, if I want it to be darker, I can go back over to certain areas and make it darker and it will show those areas as being darker. It's super cool. If you want a lighter brown, you can always use a tea. But remember, if you're gonna use anything hot, anything that needs heat, please make sure that you have an adult with you that's watching your back, gotcha, gotcha, you know, keeping you safe because nobody wants any burns. So I got some coffee on there. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I have used all three of these paints before. So I knew exactly what they were gonna look like. But the palette I've never used before. I saw this on an Instagram post and I was like, I've gotta try it. So here we go. I'm gonna take some jelly. And now notice that the jelly is not liquid. So I'm sort of just trying to like get the juice on my brush. Let's see what happens. Oh, it came off. Good. I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wetter. I'm gonna treat it like a watercolor. There we go. Now, if you're gonna paint it with anything sweet, like toothpaste or jelly, do not be surprised if the adult in your house says it must be thrown away. Because as we know, bugs are attracted to sweet things. If you keep it with coffee and spices, they're not gonna come near you. 
but the sweeter things for sure they're coming at you so let's try my sparkle green toothpaste here I don't know how this is gonna come out because it's a gel toothpaste but you know what it never hurts to try okay we've got some green going on I'm gonna add some more water Ooh, it smells bubblegummy okay here we go now I'm adding a thick thick layer on this to get that green to show up. There we go. We got some stuff going on here. And another thing that I've seen people paint with that I really want to try is mud. Who doesn't have mud? Please ask an adult before you paint with mud inside. Uh, I don't I don't want to get an angry phone call text email okay if you're gonna paint with mud I think it'd be super cool but let's ask an adult okay so let's see here we're getting it all watery watery now remember if you don't have a fancy one of these you can just use a plate okay now this one it was sort of light green when I got it out of the tube but now that I'm putting it on here it sort of looks like it's coming out white so that one was a fail, but that's okay because at least I tried. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you to go experiment. Oh, look, that one looks sort of cool. Leave you to go experiment on your own, and I'm going to finish my painting. What I want to hear is what was your favorite thing to paint with, and I also want to see a picture of what yours looks like when you're done. So let me know how it turns out. 